Hi, this is Omer with Nelly Security. Uh, since our last video, we've now added a couple more products to our uh, access control line. Uh, we did not have this keypad last time. Um, a lot of customers have requested that they just want an old traditional keypad where you punch in a code to unlock a door. Um, and we also received a new uh, Blue Pass license. Um, this basically works with a Blue Pass reader that allows you to control, unlock your door or lock a door using your phone as a Blue Pass app. Um, and here we have our traditional proximity reader, which uses uh, prox cards, 125 kilohertz in this case. And then we have our mag lock and electric strike. And a request to exit button. Um, another thing we will be talking about in this video is how to set up access control. I know for a lot of customers, for a lot of uh, viewers out there, access control might be a very difficult setup, but with linear, that is not the case. Um, if you have set up, uh, for example, a computer by going through a welcome screen and a how-to guide, uh, linear access control works in a similar way. When you first uh, power up the unit, it actually walks you through a wizard, a startup wizard, where it just walks you through a step-by-step -step process, how to set up everything. So we're going to look at later in the video on how to do that, as well as we're going to be hooking up electric strike to a linear access control and, um, and a proximity reader as well as an exit control button. All right, so before we begin wiring our uh, door lock, exit button, and uh, our card reader, kind of want to go over the, uh, the board here that we have. This is an E3 linear access control system. This is a four door or reader board here. Uh, which basically means it already has license to do four doors. Um, some some of the linear brands where you have to buy additional licensing, you don't have that here. It comes with the four licenses already. Uh, this particular model also has integrated power supply, which means you don't you don't need an additional power supply to power the board or the door locks. It comes through this power distribution module, uh, and this is your integrated power supply here. So you simply plug it into your wall outlet, and this module takes care of everything. It supplies power to the board, as well as your door locks, which will be wired here. So you have uh, door one, door two, door three, door four. And uh, here we have the ethernet port. Here we have door one, door two, door three, door four. And then we begin by exit, uh, your request to exit button. One, two, three, four. And then this is your door lock one, two, three, four. All right, so here we have a, uh, our basic request to exit button. So normally open, normally close, uh, very basic. Uh, and we're going to be wiring this to this panel here. And here you actually can see the diagram if you can look closely. Um, it shows red is normally open, yellow is normally closed, white is your common ground wire. And uh, we're going to be wiring this in door one um, because we will be adding a reader to that as well. So your common wire, which will go in your COM port, and it's actually giving you a diagram, written diagram here. So we're going to unscrew this and wire this in. So now it's secure. And since we want to do normal close because we want the door to open whenever there is uh, an action, so which would be, you know, you pressing the button. And this is a pretty simple install, uh, very easy to hook up a request to exit button. All right, so now that we have our exit button wired, uh, our next step is to wire our proximity reader. As you can see here, this is a terminal that we're going to be wiring our uh, proximity reader to. And this is color coded as well as it has instructions on which wire goes in where. So we have door in and then door out as well. And as you can see, we have multicolor wires here. Each of these do have a purpose. Um, this is our ground cable or drain shield cable. Um, and on screen, you'll be able to see the wiring diagram. Um, it does vary from reader to reader. So, but let's go ahead and get this one wired.
All right, so before we begin mounting the back lock, we're going to go ahead and take it apart and uh, prep it for mounting. So let's go ahead and do that. Mainly what we're concerned with is our main mag lock here, since we have to take apart the mounting plate to get it ready. So now that we have successfully uh, disassembled the mounting plate, this is the part that we'll use on the door frame. And uh, you'll simply screw this on the frame, and after that, we'll assemble the maglock back onto this plate. All right, now that we have our mag lock secured uh, to the plate that we have mounted, we're gonna wire the negative to the negative wire on the mag lock and uh, positive to the positive. And we're gonna be using these blue uh, wire screws to secure the connection. All right, and we made sure the, the connection is secured. Let's go ahead and fit these connectors inside. And now we're gonna go ahead and mount the plate to cover these connectors. All right, so now that we have a uh, mounted our mag lock, we're going to mount the armature, which is a thin metal piece. This always goes on the door. So we measured uh, exactly where it will meet with the mag lock to make a connection. And uh, we've used this sticker template to uh, draw out and also where exactly we need to drill. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, so this is where we will be mounting our carb reader and roughly about 37 inches off the ground. So let's go ahead and take a measurement and mark wherever we need to make a hole so we can fish the wire through inside the wall. All right, so we're now ready to mount the proximity reader, the linear proximity reader that we have. Uh, today we're only going to be using the four pairs, uh, red, black for power, green and white for our Wigan data transmission. Uh, unfortunately on the wiring cable that I have here is there's no white, so we're going to substitute yellow for the white pair. And you can always do the same uh, if you don't have the exact color match, just be sure to notate which wire you're using which on the reader. That way when you're um, connecting them to the controller, it makes it easier for you. So let's go ahead and do that real quick.
All right, so we're now ready to wire in our proximity reader that we just mounted. And as you remember that we didn't have a white wire and we used yellow as our, um, and substitute a white. So that will be our uh, Wigan one or data one. So let's go ahead and start wiring. So red will go into our red on the terminal block. And just so you know, these terminal blocks are easily removable. Uh, you can always remove them, wire them in, and then snap them back on the board. And then green is our data zero. And then on the terminal block, this will be white, but we're using the yellow wire, so this will be our data one. And black is our ground wire. All right, now that we have our proximity reader mounted, our Mac lock, and our system's all now online, and this card has been read in as a master. Let's see the door is properly locked. All right, so now it's time to install the exit button that we have here. It's the normally open, normally close. And uh, we already have a wire ran here, so low voltage, 22 gauge. And uh, we will simply wire, it's only two wires. We're going to be wiring normally close, and then white is for common or brown. So white will wire with black. and uh, yellow with red. And then we're going to feed the wires back into the wall. All right, so now that we have gone through all the steps of uh, making sure that our access control is functional, we got maglock wired, exit button, as well as proximity reader, and we configured our access card and tested that it works. A lot of you might be asking, what is the point? What's the purpose of access control? Why do I need it? And a simple answer to that would be to limit access to a building or to a certain area of the building. And, um, and, and especially in a work environment, a commercial environment, uh, access control comes into play. For example, if you have an employee leaving or an employee coming on board, instead of having to assign him a, a physical key, you can just act, assign him an access control card here. And you can also limit the access. You can control the schedule as to when that person would have access to the building or a certain room of the building or which area of the building you want that person to have access to. So it's a great way to ensure security and also you, you can keep an eye on who's coming in, who's going out at what hours. Uh, you can pile that into a report and submit it to your security personnel or security advisor, whoever might be in charge of the building. Um, if you have any questions at all regarding how to wire, how to configure, or even general questions as to what works with what device, uh, feel free to give us a call. My name is Umair. Uh, I'm the Access Control Manager here at Nelly Security. Uh, have a good one.